Since Stephen Harper left office in 2015, the Conservatives have had five different party leaders, and this September, they will choose a sixth. One of those hoping to become the new leader is former Quebec Premier Jean Charest. And he's with us in studio this morning. Welcome. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Great to have you here in person and not over technology. It's, We're on over uh, Skype. Yeah, it's great to be out, uh, finally to be free and, and out there. We've been traveling the country a lot, and it makes a big difference. I bet it does. Uh, the Liberals and Conservatives uh, have fought on Indigenous land claims. Yeah. Uh, we were noticing yesterday the press conference uh, out, in, uh, out west it's at Saddle Lake where they were talking about the new investigation and information around that. Um, in the past, both the Conservative and Liberal governments have, ta have fought Indigenous communities on not only land claims, but also on... Um, settlements, payout settlements for residential school survivors. In a Jean Charest-led Conservative Party, what would your stance on those issues be? Well, we have to take a, an approach that allows us to reconcile ourselves, but to deal with these historic grievances. And going through the courts, Anne-Marie, isn't the, cannot be the preferred option for, for any government. And, and we need to continue to work at this. It's going to take a while because we're not going to catch up on 100, 100 years of history in a, in a few years only. And among the things that I would like to pay attention to is housing for Indigenous uh, Canadians. I think that's a, a very important issue in the policies that I'm proposing. I think we need something specific on housing, especially in the North where there are real issues, and also allowing them to participate more actively in the economic development of the country, not just on the rent side, but equity and be able to buy in. I do a Crown Corporation that would allow them to invest in projects. And then there will be the continuous effort that we need to uh, to continue to do to be able to uh, to deal with the issues of the past and uh, and and do it in a way where we're consistent and and avoid the courts and and focus on what should be settlements solutions for indigenous canadians as a former liberal leader of quebec some people in the party feel that you might be too left of center to represent them as a party of the whole this is a problem that the yeah. conservatives have battled this ideology of a big tent but that doesn't seem to be winning elections. So where does the party need to land politically in order to win the next election, which is really the name of the game? And the, and the big challenge for us is to be a national alternative to the Liberal government. And that's what Canadians want, Anne-Marie. They're turning to us uh, because they, they want an alternative to the Liberal government that's there, and we haven't been up to that job. We have to live up to that responsibility. And the Conservatives have always been the party able to connect East and West, and to be a, a well, I'm going to challenge you on that because yeah. I grew up out west, and there are people who are in the west right now who say I don't feel like I'm connected to the east. Well, that's why the Conservative Party needs to get its act together so we can create that connection. We're the party that can do that. I was part of governments that did that, mm -hmm. and this country works when we we are able to do that. That's when we're able to get big things done when we create a national government. But the question for Conservatives is, are you tired of losing? Have you had enough? Or do you want to be a party able to offer a national vision and bring the country together? That's what I want to do. And that includes a very strong economic vision that is going to be rooted in economic prosperity, which includes resources like oil and gas and pipelines and mining, mm -hmm. and, and a party that's able to, uh, to uh, unite Canadians, uh, whether urban, rural, or otherwise. You can unite Canadians, but you also have to unite your party first and the, yes. the tent is big yeah. and it's it's divided and so where do you need to land politically what do you need to sell to the party to say this is what's going to win us the election well, you've criticized fringe elements those far right on the spectrum but can you win government without the fringe well yeah, the, the party needs to focus on its core values which is fiscal conservatism which is canadians want i mean there's a lot of political orphans out there in the country <laughs> of all parties who are looking for a party who's fiscally conservative uh, market-based economy a party that will promote economic growth uh, families is a big value, a very important value of Conservatives. Uh, respecting the rule of law and law and order is also fundamental because there is no freedom without that. And a form of federalism that respects the jurisdiction of the provinces. Those, and marie are the core values of the party. And uh, no political party is a sect. I mean, a political party is an institution that evolves through time. But based on that and on those core values, then we need to look forward uh, and project and, and also present a national vision that is going to be very much focused on growing our economy and getting our fiscal house in order. That's, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I can and I will unite the party. I've done that before in, the, in other jobs that I've had as a leader in winning elections. And that's exactly what I'll do for, for this party as we look to the future. 
I want to ask you about abortion rights. It's back in discussion. Yeah. Uh, you stated very clearly during the English language debate about abortion rights in your stance. You said, I am pro-choice, and my government would not bring in legislation or support legislation to change or restrain the rights of women. But there are people in, in the Conservative Party right now who are strongly anti-abortion. -abor is there still room for them in that, in a John Charest led Conservative Party? Well, my position is very clear, but also uh, let's recognize something here. I mean, people who... Uh, hold those beliefs and those positions and that we call SOCONs. I don't like the hyphenated name of it, but who are they if not people who are, have a faith-based life? They believe in their family and their community. They're very good people. Now, it doesn't mean we agree on everything, but these are people who deserve our respect and they have a place in the party. And a political party, Anne-Marie, is not a sect. I mean, it's not as though you agree on absolutely everything but you agree on the core values. So my position is very clear, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm gonna be very respectful and always have been very respectful of those who may not share that uh, belief. Mr. Shire, I wanna thank you for coming in studio this thank morning. You, Thanks for being here with us. Uh, your morning did extend an invitation to all leadership candidates to appear on the show. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.